in the family there was many many dreams, we had many likes as well. So it was about marrying three loves in the family. Say number one, my daddy who loves to cook. Um, number two, we have a family who loves to drink. And number three, of course myself and my family who loves all dogs. Hi, I'm Sam Long. Um, I'm age 60 and this is my daughter. Hello, I am Sally. Uh, I am 25 this year. Uh, we are actually a newly opened dog cafe. So what happens is that for 2x4, right, a lot of people tend to think that we are 2 cross 4 or 2 by 4 but it is 2x4, meaning to say 2 as in 2 for 2 human feet and 4 for 4 dog paws. So for myself, right, I actually graduated like 4-5 years ago. I uh, was working as a recruiter in the banking and finance industry back then for about 4 years. Since young, I had always had a huge love for all dogs. I had no idea why. You know, when you were young and your teachers asked you like, what do you want to be when you grow up, right? Friends around me the age, la, they always tell me like, oh, I want to be a teacher, I want to be like a lawyer, etc, etc. But for me, I had always wanted to be in a business where I can do something good for dogs. For me, I've been in the work FMB line for 30 plus years and, uh, and moving from hotel lines to restaurants, in the family, there was many, many dreams. We had many likes as well. So it was about marrying three loves in the family. Say, number one, my daddy who loves to cook. Um, number two, we have a family who loves to drink. And number three, of course, myself and my family who loves all dogs. This is Bobby and that's Daisy, the smaller one. Both of them are like my two Frenchies that I really, really love. And um, because they are huge social butterflies, right? They end up being amazing hosts when they are here in the shop. For Bobby, he is actually two years old. For Daisy, she's only five months and I adopted her uh, because for her, she actually has a medical issue. Uh, meaning her knees, right, her right knee, her hind leg would actually fall, the kneecap la, would actually dislocate on its own and I have to push it back depending on the severity. It's called MPL grade 3. I have like the first two dishes in the dog menu, right? One is called like Bobby's Meatball and one is called Daisy's Meatball. So from the name itself, you know lah, Bobby's Meatball is like Bobby's favourite meatball. It is beef and then for Daisy, uh, her favourite is pork. Uh, for me, I'm having out with this uh, restaurant uh, doing the uh, kitchen side, doing all the main dishes and uh, really all those uh, human food. To this. And for dog food, well, my daughter will be taking care of that. Yeah. So for myself, um, I learned the basics of cooking from my dad. Uh, but what I do is I am in charge of most of the dog food over here. In fact, all la, yeah. And my dog food food tasters are my two Frenchies. So usually they will help me to test out and let me know whether the food is good. When I started this uh, fat cafe, I put in all whatever I learned from the previous. Over here we have our own main uh, signatures dishes like chicken chop, uh, seafood aloo aloo and for the chicken wings, I have my own recipe but I have a lot of feedback from the customer which is stated that my chicken wings is more tender than the different uh, company which have uh, chicken wings which is very dry and they <laughs> feedback to me easy. So as well I'm very happy with the feedback from the customer and uh, I'm very happy with my own recipe. So for us, right, we actually work with all the local breweries as well. Um, we have over here Brian Pine, there is Brew Dog, and we have a whole list of wines that are too much to offer. Yeah, but you can always check out our menu online. What drew me to this place when I was viewing the unit was that, you know, because there is um, a huge grass patch right behind, dogs are able to go behind to have a walk or to do their business, lah, but please clear up to do their business um, before coming in. If I were to really to break down like challenges in a timeline, right? Before we started, it was about the licensing, I guess. Because for a pet cafe in particular, there are a lot, a lot of licenses to take note of and a lot of like rules and regulations to take note of. For renovation, I was actually quite um, taken aback when I knew that like I had to separate not just the kitchen of like the pet and the human food area, I also had to separate like the 
the, the pathway where you want to serve the food. So actually for the pet and the human food, right, they cannot come out from the same pathway. Yeah, and I, I, I just thought they needed separate areas, but no, they needed separate pathways. So we opened actually on 12th of May. That was just a few days, in fact, three or four days before CB Light happened. So this was some challenges that we met on the way, but I guess they were all educational and valuable lah. Because now, now that we are like equipped with all the logistics needed, I think all this will help us for a long time to come. Success does not mean happiness. Instead, happiness means that you are closer to success than you think you are. So if you love what you do, definitely it means that you are on your way to being successful. Personally, for myself, success means freedom, and freedom means being able to fulfill the dream of the family. In fact, this being a family venture, what is amazing, what is amazing for us is that we are actually working hand in hand for a common goal. So, with that in mind, I think that what motivates us is that because it's a family venture, no one will suddenly one day throw in the white letter and then tell you like, ah, I don't want to do it already. Yeah, it's hard lah. It's hard for that to happen. But who knows, right? <laughs> <laughs>